Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase Week 2 of the 2022 Lamley Awards. Got two, I got another Hot Wheels category for you this week to vote on. We're going to talk about that today. And then I have two tournaments on Instagram. Last week, we did the best of Tarmac Works tournament. We got the winners. And we also did best and worst Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt, the polls on LamleyGroup.com. Those are now closed. We'll be uh, talking about those winners and my choices and the award show at the beginning of January. But we got more voting to do. Let's get right to it. Hot Wheels basic new models. A couple of things. Licensed. These are all released in 2022. They are licensed. Um, I don't do like Batmobiles and that. I know those are licensed too, but I do real cars and um, or replicas of real cars. You'll see with the tuned cars. They're in there too. Um, I also don't include motorcycles. And there's a reason because I want you to vote on the best licensed new model. You can vote on the casting, the, the execution, whatever. But I also want you to vote on most disappointing. And I tend to find that if I put non-licensed models in and motorcycles, they tend to dominate the quote unquote worst. So I always ask for your most disappointing model. That is the model that you were most excited about that didn't live up to uh, that excitement. Hopefully that's easily definable. Um, I tried to really to go through these in order of release, and we start here with the Porsche. This is the electric racing car Porsche. It is the 935, you know, obviously uh, based on the older car. Um, I'm not going to try and do too much commentary on whether I like these or not. I mean, we're going to see that there's a lot of supercars in here. And actually, we're just going to go through it. Um, we'll be talking as we go. That was the first release. I'll show you the recolors, but you're really voting on the casting. So we had the black version. And this is one of the new models that had a store exclusive. There were only a couple this year. I think three. Um, this was a red edition, the Porsche. I'm going to try and keep these close together. So that is one. You're going through here, like I said. I'll, uh, you go and you vote. Here is the tuned Golf. What's the official name on this one? VW Golf. A Rio Sada tune model. I decided because this is a replica of a real car or based on a real car, although it doesn't look like a real car, it's the tune version that Rio Sada, he started doing the style. Um, he started doing it last year and we're seeing it uh, applied this year. And he did it on two new models this year or this in 2022. And, uh, and we're seeing that. Two colors on that one in white and in red. And I think they're going to continue doing these little tuned Japanese style tuned uh, cars as well as we go into 2023. And I, I know we saw the Batmobile last year and a few others. Um, Cosworth. In black, we had two colors of this one. Um, what was What's kind of cool is, is the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth. I was trying to think of what was the theme of new models. And obviously there's never a real theme that uh, Hot Wheels is going to go with with the new models. They're just going to go with what they think is interesting, right? Um, two colors of that one, black and blue with the orange base. But a lot of exotics, not a lot of muscle. Here's the only muscle car that I, I was trying to look at this and there's not, I mean, I guess you could call the Corvette. We'll get, we get to a few American cars, but not a ton this year. Um, this was the Legends winner. This Firebird, 1970 Pontiac Firebird is the official name, makes sense. But based on the Legends winner from 2021, I believe, right? Uh, Volvo for 2022. No, maybe it's 2020 was the winner for this one. The white was the actual Legends winner. Then they recolored it in red. Anytime, any, any of these Firebirds are kind of cool. Um, next one, Toyota Tacoma. In blue, lifted Toyota Tacoma. They've done them before. This, was, this seemed to be a little bit more proportion better than the old Tacoma they did, which is a little bit oversized, I thought. This is the 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Um, like I said, themes, hard to say. Um, we had, um, I think if there was an overwhelming thing, there's a sure a lot of exotics and we'll get to those in a little bit. Recolor of the Tacoma in red I'll put that right there. All right. American cars going back to that. You could also say electric cars was a big deal in this. We've seen this both. I think Mattel seems to be pushing in this direction in terms of the replicas they're doing. I mean, obviously the car world is going electric in a big way. This is the Mustang Mach-E 1400. This is the racing kind of drift. Is it a drift version or a racing version? Uh, Ford Performance in white. This one was one of those that actually had a recolor and a store exclusive. So we saw it in white. We saw it recolored in red. And then we saw the Zamac. I think this is the only new model that was a Zamac this year. Um, obviously released 
exclusively at Walmart. That was that store exclusive. So that's an American car. A lot of electric cars. We'll see electric cars pop up. Liberty Walk, we've seen a few of those. An homage to the original Super Silhouette. We saw that in premium, right? With the uh, Skyline, the R34 Skyline. We'll get to that in the premium polls here in a week or two. But that is the uh, Sylvia in white, recolored in yellow. I don't know if they've done a yellow one, but they that one in white is definitely homage to the uh, original Super Silhouette Sylvia. Tuned cars. We'll go back to that. Chevy Silverado tuned. I think actually with this debuted in blue, right? I think it started in blue. So we'll start with that one. Um, hope I got that right in the turntable. Another Rio Asada design. You can see Rio's name on this. Uh, obviously, a lot of tributes this year. These were these were castings that Rio had already designed before he uh, sadly passed away. Um, and then we've seen some tribute cars kind of in the latter part of the year. I think it's just uh, the timing there. You see the the final castings that he did, plus the um, plus the uh, tribute models a little bit later on. So those are that's the Silverado, the tuned Silverado, eighty three Silverado, super popular. And so doing a tuned version is ob obviously makes a ton of sense. All right, moving on to the Z. A lot of Japanese cars, but we get used to that. This is the Proto, the Z uh, Nissan Z Proto in yellow. Saw it in premium as well. I got into the two packs, the same casting, I think. Obviously just done for premium with the metal base. Uh, yellow with the gold rims. I, You know, it's interesting too, as we talk about the themes. I was going to say they've done a lot of interesting kind of silhouette type. Silhouette is not a word, and I apologize for it. I, as soon as I said it, I didn't like it. Cars that have interesting silhouettes that they might get a little creative with. But they do some realistic cars as well. And like the Toyota Tacoma is definitely one of them that like just look very, very stock, very, very factory. And the Z is another one. I really like the white version. Yellow is yellow is cool, but um, but I really like the white as well. Electric cars. Here's the EV Hummer EV. Another electric vehicle. Interesting car. So I've seen it on the road now. Finally, I think a couple of times. I don't know if you guys have. It just seems like it's just coming out. Um, has that crab walk feature, everything else. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about that, but more of a, that one with the open top is another one of those kind of factory style, very realistic looking castings. I wouldn't call this lifted. It's just a truck, right? Uh, the EV truck, two colors of that one. As they go through the year, you'll see a lot of recolors towards the, like the first half or two thirds of the year. And then towards the end, we just see the one versions of it, but we're still in the recolors. Here's the Koenigsegg, supercar, supercar, supercar. And the Koenigsegg is definitely one of them. The Jamera, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Like I said, when you're so used to reading more than uh, than hearing, you don't know exactly how they're pronounced, and you hope you get it right. Gray was the first version of this uh, of this one of the Koenigsegg, and then the very bright, very uh, showy orange version uh, was the second color of the Koenigsegg. Electric cars, Lucid Air, another one that looks very stock, very factory. I have not seen one of these on the road, but the first color was in silver, kind of a metal flake silver, right? When you're doing these, I'd like to give more of my opinions, but I just feel like it's for this. So I do that. It's kind of a video where I'm describing exactly what you're seeing. Look, guys, this is a white version. Um, but they're interesting, right? So a lot of electric cars, the Lucid is one that I thought, you know, it's 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 an interesting choice, whether or not you like the application of it, the execution of it. Um, that's totally up to you. Remember when I said the word silhouette -y? Um, Interesting silhouettes. This is definitely one. Interesting JDM, interesting silhouette, kind of a creative take, uh, something very different, very unique. Now, that's not an opinion. I just think that that's just something we've seen. It's not something you'd think you'd see maybe a few years ago, a 1986 Toyota van. But um, yeah, kind of a you know cool in the choice. I don't think that that will sway anybody one way or the other, but uh, a unique choice for sure. And that might be the one that you think is best, or maybe you're just like, oh, it just so disappointing that they're using a spot on something like this there there's a definition of most disappointing two colors of the toyota 1986 toyota van liberty walk we saw the sylvia we also saw this the ken mary also based on a real car where they modified an old ken mary uh, 2000 gtr the official title of the official name of this one is nissan skyline 2000 gtr lbwk liberty walk this is the actual color um, no recolor on this one, just one release, probably just based on the actual car, but we are going to see a recolor. And here's your little hint in white and in premium. It's coming up. All right. It's always fun to tease those things. All right. Jeep Cherokee. No, is that Cherokee? Yes, it's the Cherokee 1995 Jeep Cherokee lifted version. This one is very much like a, an overland 
uh, style with the uh, lifted large tires and then the uh, equipment on the top, back, front. Uh, really kind of a cool version. Oh, I shouldn't say it. No opinion. Um, but a cool take. Silhouette. That's the theme. I'm not going to put that in the title. The Silhouette new models of 2023. Two colors on that one, green and red. Electric cars. Here we go. Audi e-tron. Theme of a stock factory car and an electric car. Uh, Audi RS e-tron GT. Charcoal was the first color. And then, yeah, in total opposite spectrum in red. So two colors of the Audi e-tron. Now here's one that officially is not a new model in 2023 or 2022. I'm sorry. It's actually, but I, I included this one. This is the Automobili, and I hope I'm saying it right, Automobili Pinafrina Batista, right? Electric supercar hits all of those. Uh, factory electric supercar hits all of those themes from 2022. This actually is technically a new model in Hot Wheels ID. But if you remember last year, I included the Porsche Taycan that was uh, that was released in the basic range with the Hot Wheels ID chase version. But we had it was actually officially slated to debut in Hot Wheels ID, but that last mix that never really showed up, um, it did show up in very, very limited numbers. That Porsche was in there. And so was this, the Pina, Pina, Pini Farina. But really not like unless you were just super, super lucky or ponied up a lot of money, you were able to get it. So I kind of feel like this one, and I'm unofficially including it in the new models mix because that's where everyone had seen it first. Uh, three colors of that one, yellow, red, and then the recent recolor in blue. The red was a red edition. So one of the only store, like it says, red edition Porsche, red uh, Zamac Mustang, and then the red edition Pinin Farina. I hope I say that right. Okay. So I'm including that one in there. Uh, I just feel like it makes sense to be included in the new model since that's really where most people saw it first. Porsche 911 GT3. We've seen a few of these factory stock versions of the Porsche uh, every few years. And here's another one released this year. Blue to start with the black rims and then uh, and, and very much done in, the, uh, in a stock version and then in black. As far as these GT3 castings go, I think this is the best one. There's an opinion. I know I shouldn't be sharing that, but we're not voting on best GT3 casting. We're just voting on best new model. But I think it's safe to say, I think just in terms of hitting the right angles, I think that Porsche is the best one they've done. All right. We mentioned that there were Rio Asada models that he had re that he had designed in the early part of the year. And then later part of the year, the tributes started rolling in. This is one of those. This is the Honda Civic. Official word is Honda Civic Custom. This is based on the uh, uh, 90s era California drag customs that they did. That's why it's got small wheels in the back, large wheels in the front. Very much a custom version of the Civic. And we've seen a lot of Civics, so this was an interesting take. Hot Wheels design team really enjoyed doing this one. They thought it was a very appropriate tribute because they took the casting that Rio did um, for premium and modified it into basic and kind of had some fun with it. Um, turn it into this and obviously put the Asada Deco on it, which is kind of cool. Two colors of that one in blue and in red that was just recently released, what, in the Q case. All right, supercars. Back to the supercars. Here is the McLaren Elva. Obviously an open roadster, no windshield. They've been doing a lot of fun McLarens. Seems like we get one or two a year. Uh, this was the new model this year, which was uh, which is an interesting one to get. Two colors in black and in blue. Supercar again. Okay, now we're, I think the rest of the way, it's just one color. So the Elva was the last one they recolored. And now we're in all the ones that were just released once uh, in one color for 2022. This is the Lamborghini Sion. Sion? Sion? And I, you know, you guys have told me how to pronounce it. And I just always forget. Very interesting color on this one. A satin olive maybe i don't know what you'd call this color but a really interesting one um a lot of detail on this one too i know a lot of people really like this casting it's is that the only lamborghini new model we got we've gotten a few of those every year uh silhouette bringing back the word how about the corvette gasser official name 62 corvette gasser i believe our gasser resident gasser expert brendan vitusky did this one for basic i could be wrong or maybe he just had some influence on it um, 
I'm just trying to see if his name is on it somewhere. I'm not seeing it. But uh, yeah, why not do a Corvette gasser? Whether or not they've actually, there's a Corvette gasser like that exists, I have no idea. But um, another one that has an interesting silhouette. This was the Nissan Maxima drift wagon, right? Nissan Maxima drift car is what the, is the official word. This one debuted new rims, the new three spoke rims. We only saw it uh, one time this year. We're obviously going to see it uh, pop up quite a bit, the three spokes in cars next year in 2023. Modal, uh, Dima designed this one. You can see his name on it. Uh, he has a soft spot for older Maximas from like 80s era Maximas. Those are more square style Maximas in the Maxima wagon. And he turned this one into a drift wagon, kind of his own creation. Uh, but this one was one that definitely garnered a lot of attention once it was released. Supercar fans were thrilled to see a Zonda, a Pagani Zonda come out. We're seeing a lot of Paganis from Hot Wheels. This Zonda, kind of a no-brainer after they were doing the Wyra and the others, uh, released this year in um, matte black. First of two Loti or Lotus cars. British Racing Green, nice to see a Lotus. Uh, this is the Avia, Avija, uh, released in green forest uh, british racing green with the yellow trim a lot of like hitting up the supercars towards the end of the year okay here's another one that had just an interesting silhouette just an interesting take it seems like in basic they're having some fun with this kind of stuff i don't think we've i don't think a drift maxima wagon has ever been made i have no idea if a drift volvo 240 wagon has been made but this one was fraser fraser did this one uh, it has the Ghost 240 Deco on the side, mismatched drift wheels, dogs in the back. Uh, very, very cool. Very, very interesting take. I like this one. Uh, one thing I like about this one, and I think it's just an observation, is the construction of this casting is very interesting, too. That, you, that they're able to do the brake with the chrome grille, the headlights, and uh, the separate bumper. It's really nice to see them doing that with the window pieces in the interior to make those breaks that maybe they can't make with uh, with the Tampo prints just because of the limitations they have. So it's interesting to see how creative they're getting with basic with the $1 models. Aston Martin, another supercar racing car. This is the Aston Martin Vantage GTE in a bright fluorescent green. I, you know, as I'm going through this, I really am trying to think if there was kind of an overwhelming theme. Supercars was a big you know, not a lot of American cars, a lot of European and Japanese, but it still seems like we go several more years of that to make up on lost time from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. We just weren't seeing a lot of these, and now we're seeing them come come in fast and quick. Here's the other Lotus. Lotus Emira in blue, just released in the Q case, was the new model in the Q case, so one of the final new castings of 2022, and also its companion in the new one, this one made up for some of that uh, lack of American muscle. I think so. And like in terms of, okay, I got to bring the word back. Here's a silhouette car, right? Thunderbird. 1988 Ford T-Bird is the official name on the base of this one. Um, and uh, this is actually based on, a, I think it's an actual replica of a drag Thunderbird in these colors. So nice to see the two-tone coloring on this one that they can do. Headlights, same thing, part of the window piece, some of that creative. And then they took the interior and turned it into the spoiler in the back. So uh, that might be one. This is very much a unique model. I would say like in terms of like the unique kind of takes, the Thunderbird is one, the Maxima Wagon, the Volvo Drift Wagon. You can kind of go through the Liberty Walk. There's a, just a lot of variety among all of these new models. So there you go. That is all of them. That's a lot of them. You guys tell me what you think. Go to lamleygroup.com and vote. Comment down below, but just make sure you vote. I want to know why you voted for best and what you voted for most disappointing. It's interesting to see what everyone's reasoning is. Just make sure you vote. That's where it's going to count. Let me know what you think. Thanks, everybody. Bye.